You may recall that the flag, draped out of Queen Elizabeth II's coffin, is indeed the royal standard of the United Kingdom. This flag was used to represent George VI, Elizabeth II, and now Charles III. It is expected for this tradition to continue with Prince William and Prince George as well. While this represented Elizabeth II as a monarch, there were also many flags used to represent her as a person. This was her personal flag, which is indeed similar to her royal cipher. In this video, I will explore all of the flags used to represent Elizabeth II in other countries besides the UK. For most of these, they are merely banner of arms. Essentially, the coat of arms of a country stretched onto a flag with the symbol of the Queen there somewhere. Starting with the Queen's personal Canadian flag? For the purposes of this video, I'll just call them Royal Standards from now on. This flag takes inspiration from the Royal Coat of Arms of Canada, which itself is quite similar to the UK's. The three quadrants represent the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, and Ireland to be precise. And the fourth quadrant represents France, as both countries used to control Canada as part of their empires in the past. The maple leaves at the end of course symbolize Canada, as well as its people. This is one of my favorites. The standard of Elizabeth II as former Queen of Trinidad and Tobago, as this country abolished the monarchy back in the 70s. The royal standard used to be beautiful, as the coat of arms of Trinidad and Tobago is also quite visually appealing, to me at least. The colors are taken from the flag of the country. The three ships are meant to reference the three ships Columbus used on his voyage. The two golden birds at the top are hummingbirds. This is the Queen's standard of Australia. Again, a banner of arms of the coat of arms of the country. The Commonwealth Star of seven points that represents Australia as a federation encloses the symbol of Elizabeth II within it. The six quadrants represent each Australian state. The first one is New South Wales, which, ironically enough, features the cross of St. George of England, along with a lion and stars. The state of Victoria is second, featuring the crown of St. Edward, which is used ceremonially during the coronation of a British monarch. I guess we will see Charles use this one day. Along with the Southern Cross, which is a constellation visible from the Southern Hemisphere. The third quadrant is Queensland, displaying a Maltese cross with St. Edward's crown again. The fourth and the fifth quadrants stand for South Australia and Western Australia, featuring a piping shrike and a black swan respectively. The final quadrant symbolizes Tasmania with a red lion. The flag is surrounded by an ermine border, which of course symbolizes the unity between the Australian states. Next up is the personal flag of Elizabeth II as Queen of New Zealand. The stars symbolize the Southern Cross, styled in the way of the flag of New Zealand. The fleece is there for the farming industry, the wheat for the agricultural industry, and the two hammers depict the mining industry. The white stripe is there for the Cook Strait. There are supposed to be three ships in there, although the symbol of the Queen covers one of them. Anyway, they represent sea trade. The Queen's Royal Standard of Malta, back when it was a monarchy of course, somewhat unoriginal, it displays a regular flag of Malta along with a symbol of Elizabeth II. In case you're wondering, the symbol in the top left is a George Cross, which depicts the legend of St. George slaying a tyrannical dragon. This symbol is used in a lot of other flags as the examples shown on screen. At this point, I think you get the picture, so it's unnecessary for me to elaborate any further anymore. This is Elizabeth's personal flag as Queen of Mauritius, and this is her standard as Queen of Barbados. And finally, her standard of Jamaica. One thing I found really interesting is that Elizabeth II, prior to becoming sovereign, had a personal standard as princess. It's basically the regular royal standard with a white strip, a Tudor rose, and two crosses of St. George to the sides, along with a Scottish counterpart that replaces one of the English quadrants with another Scottish one. Anyway, if you've liked this video, be sure to also check out the video on screen. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.